and hey everyone so today we're going to be diving into the ios 18.1 beta which is creating quite a buzz not just for its cool new features but also for a bunch of bugs now users are reporting everything from random crashes and battery drain to glitches in the new apple intelligence tools so while it has been a bumpy ride for early adopters please make sure to stick around as we break down the biggest issues with ios 18.1 beta and even talk about how to potentially repair your device if ios 18.1 beta is far too buggy. Welcome back everyone to the Wondershare Dr. Phone channel. My name is Francisco and today we will be talking about all of the bugs introduced with iOS 18.1 beta and how to potentially fix issues with your device that came with the beta. If you want to find out about the bugs then stick around as you don't have to do anything else but if you just want to find out how to potentially fix these bugs then please make sure to go to the timestamp that you will see on screen. But in the meantime please make sure to subscribe because there is so much more content coming very soon. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. Part 1. Every bug introduced with iOS 18.1 beta. Like with any form of beta software, it will be buggy because the software is still being tested, so we have to be considerate of that just being a fact of how it all is. Here is essentially every bug that's been reported that we could find. Battery drain. Lots of people are noticing their battery drains way faster than usual. While I already feel like every version of the beta we've received so far has been draining the battery at least a little bit faster, I do hear that things have gotten worse with this particular version of the beta. Touch screen issues. Sometimes the touch screen stops responding for a few seconds, which is super annoying. Now this issue has actually taken place for me in previous versions of the beta already, so this isn't really a new problem for me, as some people do have it harder than others. Internet problems. There are issues with internet connections, making it hard to use online services and apps. This one has affected me way more than just once, as sometimes I lose service at very random occasions while I'm home and there is no way that it's just my phone being faulty or my service provider. This is easily the most annoying issue for me. Face ID glitches. Face ID isn't working properly for some users, causing security and usability headaches. But this hasn't actually been a problem for me, so I cannot speak too much on this one, but it is still a problem that has to be addressed for authentication reasons. Storage bugs. Problems with storage calculations and iCloud backups are cropping up and I have seen this one take place in some devices as sometimes it gives different estimates for how much storage you have left on your device which is just a little bit weird but I do not believe that this is actually something that affects the actual amount of storage that you have left on your device. AI feature troubles. The new Apple intelligence features are causing long indexing times and inconsistent beta experiences which essentially means that a lot of people will have different experiences with Apple intelligence at this time because it's not so stable for every single person using it out there. Bluetooth issues. Bluetooth connectivity is spotty, affecting wireless accessory use. This one hasn't really happened for me, but I do see reports of this one online, so we have to tackle it if it is still being introduced to many other users. UI glitches. Now, there are going to be bugs with wallpapers and emoji keyboard display, and this one has also been extremely annoying for me. Essentially, my emoji keyboard never saves any of the emojis that I actually use or recently used, and instead it just shows me the ones that it wants me to use, which means that for most of the emojis I use, I have to search for them manually every single time that I want to use one. Now, this is pretty much everything I've come across so far, so let's talk about a potential fix for your device if you're experiencing these bugs. Part 2. Here's a way for you to fix your iPhone if iOS 18.1 beta is too buggy. Wondershare Dr. Phone offers a comprehensive suite of tools for managing and maintaining mobile devices, making it an invaluable source for users. So among its many features are data recovery, phone backup, data transfer, and system repair. The system repair module in particular stands out for its ability to address severe issues that users may encounter, such as those introduced by the iOS 18.1 beta. This module can resolve common iOS problems like system crashes, device bricking, severe battery drain, and connectivity issues. So by providing a straight forward user-friendly interface, it does allow users to revert their devices to a stable state without data loss or the need for technical expertise. This makes Wondershare Dr. Phone an essential tool for anyone dealing with the unpredictability, beta software, or other critical system malfunctions. With that said, let's try to explore the steps to fixing these issues through the software. Granted, these fixes won't actually fix the beta and magically make it more stable, it will just fix your device if it happens to get stuck somewhere with no way out. Such as the issues that we mentioned above. Essentially, this is done by reinstalling the beta, which this software will
will do very easily for you and should refresh the beta for you. So to free your device and bring it back to your initial screen, hopefully without the most device breaking bugs, this will be the best solution available to us. So just follow the steps coming right up. So please make sure to visit the Wondershare Doctor Phone website by clicking on the link in the description. Download the software and install it on your computer. So now make sure to open the Doctor Phone application, then click on the toolbox tab and choose the system repair option from the main interface. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone or iPad to your computer. Ensure that the device is detected by Doctor Phone. Now Doctor Phone offers two modes, standard mode, which fixes common issues without data loss, and advanced mode, which resolves more severe issues but may result in data loss. So select the mode that best suits your needs, but in this case, we only need to select standard repair in order to fix many of the more severe issues caused by iOS 18.1 beta, while still being able to retain all of your data. So Dr. Phone will detect your device model and display the available firmware versions. Choose the appropriate firmware and click download to obtain the firmware package. Ideally, you would want to select the latest one, which will be the one shown on top. Or if you only see one available for your device, click on the one shown for you. You. Once the firmware is downloaded, click Fix Now to begin the repair process. Dr. Phone will start installing the new firmware on your device. The repair process may take some time, so do ensure that your device remains connected to your computer and do not interrupt the process. So after the repair process is finished, your device will restart and you should see that the issues have been resolved. If you selected Advanced Mode, you might need to restore your data from a backup. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way up to the very end. Please make sure to let us know in the comments if the solution worked for you. And if it hasn't, then tell us which phone breaking bugs you've been encountering and include any of your questions down below as well. Please make sure to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. Hit the notification bell to stay updated on when a new video comes out. Until next time, have a great day.